Hello everybody, my name is Hosodas, and welcome back to the channel. Maybe you're new, welcome to the channel. Today's video is a little quick and a bit thrown together, but I figured I'd hop inside of Vulcan of Bloxburg, throw together these three walls, and kind of talk to you about how to improve your exterior decoration of your house, or for this, it's just the front porch. So you can see all three of these walls are very similar. We've got a two-wide path going directly to the front door, And speaking of the front door, they all have the same traditional door. One there, one there, and one here. They've all got the same window, traditional or standard window. But the difference between this one and these two is the fact that this one is four wide versus three wide. And I'll talk more about that in a little bit and how it's actually a pretty valuable lesson. But anyways, let's start with this first wall here. Now, this doesn't look too horrible on its own. It looks pretty decent. It's something I might have built one or two years ago before I really knew about texturing and depth of detail and stuff like that. But it doesn't look too bad, you know, if there were an entire house behind this, you know, whatever. I mean, obviously your house isn't going to look like that, but if there were an entire house behind that, and maybe, or maybe it was a tiny house or something, it would definitely look really good. But we can make it, whoops, <laughs> we can definitely make it look a lot better. Let's move on to the next one. So this next one, you can see, looks a bit better. We've colored the light so that the metal of the light here is actually a metal color. We've added a tree and added a bit of wall trim. A bit of an improvement, but not really at the same time. It doesn't look a ton better, but, you know, that's my opinion. Your opinion might be that it looks so much better. But let's look at the third and final one. So this one, in my opinion, looks so, so, so much better. Let me remove the grid. You can see that it's four long, and my reasoning for that is in a four long versus a three long space, you're going to be able to fit in a lot more detail, a lot more depth, a lot more color, and just overall making it look like a better place. And I'll actually show you guys a bit more about the length of your walls in a separate video where I'm actually going to build an entire house, but for now, we're just going to stick with this. You can see that this area's got the same front door, the same light, but we've got these plants here, we've got the window on a separate wall, we've got this... We've got this wall kind of extending the whole whatever structure this is outward a little bit and then to the right. You can see it just looks so much better than any of these three others, and mostly it's depth. Looking at this, let me just kind of hop out of build mode. You can see walking up to this, if this were an entire house, you know, a little tiny house or something like the other two would have been, I mean, this one would look pretty good. We've got our pillars here, and if this porch were a bit larger, then these pillars would have properly fitted here, but because it's only a two-wide porch, the pillars don't really fit. It just looks kind of like a bit of a mess, but it's just for demonstration purposes. So, you can see how these all look better, but... Let's talk about how I kind of did this. So for the first one, just making a basic wall, or kind of front door wall. I'm going to make this three long. I'm going to paint it with brick. This is just beige colored brick. Then I put a traditional front door, or just a normal traditional door, a standard window, and then one of these natural outdoor wall lamps, and I used medium precision, and then I put it right there. And for the other two houses, I painted this, I painted this, I painted the daisy orange to an institutional white, or sorry, mid-gray, institutional white's too bright. And then for the other two, I also took the dirt brown and I made it into a smoky gray, because that just looks a lot more like a metal, it looks a lot more modern, it looks cleaner. I just like the color of it when it's not this weird brown color. I mean, if I had given it a wood texture... You know, then it's got its own little bit of character, but even then, the wood texture is just so hard to actually get to look right on something so small, it's not even really worth it. Anyways, you can see how I constructed that one. Let's move on to this one. So I'm just gonna clone the wall. So, one, two, three. Same door, same window, but now we're using a short rail molding and a thin crown molding on the top, and our color is on the back. Yep. Goodness. Bloxburg, Coop, just please fix the glitch. Or whenever I clone a wall, it puts the paint on the other side. That's so annoying. Anyways, I also took this same porch light here. 
Oh, let me just move the door over a little bit. Boop, there we go. Clone this. You can see we got the same thing, but we have this little tree here. I'm not gonna be able to put it in the exact same spot because it's in small placement. Oh, let me just move that over. But you can see the tree just gives it that little bit of depth, that little bit of color, that little bit of nature, that little bit of texture to make this house look so much better. Just the tree and a recoloring of the lamp and it looks a lot better. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. So for this next one, it's actually four long. One, two, three, four. And you can see how, hey, look, the paint's on the right time. So for one um, two wide portion of this, I only put a window. And for the other portion, I put the door as well as the light. I'm sorry if you can hear the chainsaw in the background. Trees fell near my house during the hurricane, and they're still getting chopped up. Uh, one of my dad's friends out there just using a chainsaw, and he's getting some firewood out of it. Oh, goodness, it's loud. <laughs> Anyways, I also put this flat roof up here. And if you don't want to do a flat roof, you can go and put a different roof on your house. I suggest doing a different roof. I'm going to try the slanted roof. Let's see if I can get it placed correctly. Nope. Uh, let me try building it from this angle. So, boop, 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 boop. Yes, perfect. This slanted roof makes for a really, really nice porch. I mean, look at that. You've got a bit of angling, which gives you a bit of texture and a bit of depth. I'm actually going to go ahead and change out those pillars, too, once I add. Nah, I don't know about that. I'm going to go ahead and change out those pillars too, just because those square pillars are just a bit too wide for my liking. I'll change this to small placement. Place that there. Place that right there. That looks pretty good. Oh, my voice cracked. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and put down this fencing. And yes, you probably noticed that this is taking a lot longer of a time than it were to throw together these other two demonstrations. And that's kind of the whole thing with Bloxburg. Things sometimes take a lot of time to do. But they're very rewarding because you're going to get great results that look amazing. You can see I kind of took off the symmetry of that. Put the flower over here and then put the two bushes over there. Or natural plants over there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I guess that's it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and undo those. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. I know it was short and I was kind of throwing together. But I think it taught you guys a little bit of something about adding texture, adding variation, and adding color with nature, with longer walls, with divided walls like this, with porches, with columns, with different colored doors and lights and windows, and just a bunch of other stuff. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more Welcome to Bloxburg and Tower Battles content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I love you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.